Hey everybody, welcome to another Photoshop C6 tutorial. I'm your host, Buddy Blackford. Today we're going to be talking about applying a stroke to your path. And we're going to use our path here that we created. And right now I just have a circular path around this moon. And we're just going to apply a stroke around it. So go ahead and make your path and then go to your paths uh, tab here. And we'll go to our path options and go to stroke path. Now we've only got two options here. We've got our tool and we can use all of these tools here. And then we've got simulate pressure. So when we select our tool here, the main thing to know and it's important to know is that the properties that your uh, tool had last is what they're going to use when they're trying to make the stroke here in Photoshop. Also, your foreground color is going to be the color that uh, gets the stroke applied. So right now I have red, and it's going to use my last known brush settings, which is I have six as the size, and all my mode and opacity and everything like that. So stroke path, and I'm just going to hit OK. And now I get the circular stroke there. So let me go back. And I'm just going to adjust some of these settings a little bit. We'll make it like 35 and we'll make it really soft. And then I'll go ahead and make my stroke path. And hit OK. And now you can see that it's a softer brush and a thicker stroke. We can use all the different things. Oh, that's the wrong one. We can use all the different tools that it has. So let's look at them real quick. Pencil, brush, eraser background eraser so if I wanted to erase around the outside edge now it's erased um, the eraser must have been small because it just did this little uh, line in between so let's check out the eraser yep it was at three let's bring this up to like 40 something and you can see I erased around the outside of it now that looks that's pretty helpful too if I wanted to just select the moon and now it's easy really really easy to just select that and I have a perfect circle around it so I just wanted to uh, show you that the uh, other thing I didn't go over yet was the uh, simulate pressure button and it's going to mimic the pressure um, that you use when you're using a drawing tablet and Photoshop is going to try to simulate that for you so that's all there is to know about the uh, um, using the stroke on your path. It's simple, it's easy, and it's an efficient tool to use. So go ahead and use that when you need to in your different ways. And experiment with all these different kinds of brushes. Like if you use the healing brush, you would mix it in. If you use the burn tool, it would burn all the way around the edges. You could sharpen the edges if you needed to, and so on. So... Um, use the tool to your advantage because it is really helpful and you can do uh, multiple strokes on top of strokes so you can first you can sharpen it and then you can add another uh, color around it or something like that so that's pretty helpful so that's uh, a nice tool to learn and I hope you guys use it well in your next uh, project so see you guys later and have a good one